Hi, I'm Timothy Pope and this is China Buzzwords from Shanghai Eye, where we aim to decode and explain the hot topics in Chinese business and economics. Today, the UN and the US presidency. China's currency has come under a bit of extra downward pressure in the last week or so, as global investors have started to bet on the outcome of the now really, really close US presidential election. In particular, that Donald Trump is going to win it. These so-called Trump trades have affected a bunch of things. Fossil fuel companies. Drill, baby, drill. Crypto and China. Because Trump is still talking about increasing tariffs on Chinese exports again if he regains the White House. That has a twofold impact on the renminbi. One, the authorities here look for ways to keep Chinese exports competitive. The easiest way to do that is to weaken the currency. You only need to look at Japan to see how a weaker currency can protect export revenue. Two, investors betting on both tariffs and currency moves short the UN on the foreign exchange markets. They make bets that the currency will go down, which drives it down still further. Trump says he's going to impose duties of 60% or more on imported goods from China if he wins this year. We'll come back to whether tariffs are a good idea in just a second. Spoiler, they're probably not. But the last time Donald J. Trump was president of the United States and put trade barriers up in 2018, the UN weakened by 5% against the US dollar. One prediction from the investment bank Jefferies sees the UN tumbling as much as 12% if Trump returns to the White House and the Republican Party regains control of Congress. That's not going to be great for China. But tariffs aren't going to be great for anyone. The 2018 tariffs put the US manufacturing sector into recession and raised the cost of goods for US consumers. Because that's what tariffs do. They're a tax that makes things more expensive in order to encourage domestic firms to make more stuff at home. But those firms don't say, oh well, this thing just became more expensive, I guess we'll make less of a profit this year. They raise the prices for people who buy that product. So when Trump talks about 60% tariffs on Chinese goods and 100% tariffs on countries who shift away from trading with the US dollar, He's talking about making things more expensive for Americans. It's no wonder that this week has seen the BRICS nations talk more seriously about trade settlements in their own currencies, excluding the dollar. Protectionist rhetoric says tariffs are an economic weapon, but the data shows they often backfire. But in the lead up to the US election on November 5th, with the polls still too close to call, these Trump trades are set to continue.